So we're gonna try uh, running an oxygen acetylene torch on oxygen natural gas. I actually have been running mine for years on oxypropane, so it shouldn't be a big stretch to get this to work. Let me show you what's going on here though. So this is the, uh, the fitting for the tank that I just took off. And this is a quarter inch NPT thread on this side. And so what I've done is I've just got a quarter inch nipple. We're just gonna put that in here and then attach that to my natural gas. The reason I wanna go to natural gas is simply for the convenience because it comes right to the shop. So then I only have to go to town to get oxygen. Okay, that should be ready to go. I kind of set myself up here for this because I actually run the forge off natural gas, which is this line here. Now this line here comes into the shop at five PSI. I have my secondary line. This is after the regulator on the outside that goes up and will go to run the heaters. And if I ever had a furnace, it would run that. That's at 0.4 PSI. I put a gauge on it the other day just to confirm that I had the five PSI Possibly, possibly hard to see there on camera, but it is at five PSI. So all I'm gonna do is stick this on here like that. And then we'll see if five PSI is enough to run the torch. Just gonna jump outside, turn it off so we can uh, fiddle faddle with this all here. A bit of a snowy day here in Canada for us. There's the setup. Oxygen here, natural gas there. Let's go try it out. Just gotta go turn the gas on. Now, this would be showing five PSI, except it's such a coarse gauge, you won't see that. But we should see it here. If we turn this up, it shouldn't go past five. Okay, I guess it's four, actually. All right, okay. We'll bring up to 40 PSI. This is my uh, oxypropane rosebud. And um, I don't know what it is for natural gas. I'm gonna assume the same, but when you run oxypropane versus oxyacetylene, you burn through about four times as much oxygen. So that is something to keep in mind. I don't have my striker, so I'm just gonna use my grill blazer to start the torch here. that's enough volume right there. I can tell you that's less than it was when I was running propane. Classic. That's not bad. That's certainly not bad. Hardly any difference from what looked, visually looks from oxypropane. That's very, very cool. So I was just thinking about it, right? This rosebud is a number two size. They come in different sizes. The biggest size that I know of that you can get for, for an oxypropane, is a number five. Check that bad boy out. Look at the size difference. That's sweet. A couple years ago, actually quite a few years ago, I got this because I had a job where I had to heat, it, heat two inch round bar. Really short heat because I had to hot punch a hole in it. And I didn't want the bar to deform. So I was using this to heat localized heat. They boast that this rosebud can blast a million BTUs. I have a really hard time believing that actually. But what I found out, we're gonna try it out here. 
in a minute, is it was so much, it's so much B to use that in the application of heating round bar, I think you're probably losing like 75% of it to the side. So it's, it's hard to find a good application for this. Bigger surfaces would be better, like a plate or something. Drains the oxygen bottle in about seven minutes flat. Freezes the regulators up. So we're gonna fire this bad boy up. And as we do that, I wanted to talk to you about Squarespace. Squarespace has sponsored this video. And uh, just like we're setting up to use the right tools for the right job here. Oh, just bumped her in my light. Oh, two of them. Okay, be careful, Tim. Uh, Squarespace is the right tool for your online presence. If you are doing anything or even thinking about starting a business or want to have a portfolio online, Squarespace is the go-to place to help you do that. I use Squarespace for my e-commerce website, which they're super great. Um, easy to move inventory around, track that, all the info you need for shipping, logistics and that stuff. But if you're just getting started in a business, whatever that is, um, they're gonna have an award-winning template for your niche or your business that you can just click and drag and put stuff in really quick, looking professional, super important. One important thing that often is not talked about a lot is that when you're setting up an online presence is you gotta get a domain name. It's really important. Squarespace has it so that you can get your domain name from them so when you build your website, it's like an all-in-one. Domain name, website, boom, done. So. It really is the all-in-one place to go for creating your online presence, which is super important for whatever you're doing, really, honestly, where we're at today. So head over to squarespace.com slash TimD. Use that TimD promo code, and that'll get you 10% off your first purchase. Thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Let's start this bad boy up, see how it goes. Super careful where I point this thing. Wow, that's pretty good. I can tell you now, though, compared to running this with propane, not even getting close to a million BTUs. That's as much uh, natural gas as I can give it. And um, between the last scene and this scene. I actually turned my regulator up uh, at the main spot on the house, so I'm getting a full five PSI now, but that's just, that's not as much as propane, so you're gonna be throttled down on that. But again, I don't use this rosebud pretty much any at all anymore, so I don't think that's gonna be a big issue for me, but to consider. So, uh, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. Let's, um, let's try cutting, because that's important. We'll see how that works. You gotta use an oxypropane cutting tip though. The tips for propane versus acetylene are very different. And uh, I can't see it being a problem after how the rosebud ran. Knock it in here. Oxypropane cutting tips are very fine compared to oxyacetylene. So you can't clean them with a tip cleaner. So what you can do is if they're dirty, you just take a piece of wood. Something I wanted to show you, and um, I was doing it earlier there, with the natural gas or propane, it's kind of hard to start compared to an oxygen acetylene. So I don't ever start it in the air. You saw it kept going out there. So if I would, if I turn it on here, it just blows it out, right? What I do is you actually put it on the table like this. Little pro tip from Tim. Nothing to it, it, uh, it cuts just fine.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, smash that subscribe button. See you in the next one.